But I've never seen an environment where women are so encouraged to be narcissistic yet play victim to narcissism. It's bizarre. And I think it stems from just how we view our bodies first and foremost. And a lot of it, like I remember thinking this during the abortion debate, children are not body parts. Children are human beings. Um, me having a baby is a mutual decision. It's two peoples. It's really, really two peoples. So when we hear slogans like my body, my choice, it implies that only a woman decides if a baby lives or dies and I couldn't get on board with that it's two human beings I couldn't have got through life with just my mum I couldn't have there's times where she would upset me I would have to run to my dad and in no way shape or form did I ever feel like I belonged to my mum simply because she birthed me I, I they loved me equally so that was one time where I just thought it's narcissistic to assume a child is just your body part and then it was just always just generally how we view prenups how we view marriage how we and even now I see a lot of things online saying oh Oh, if he's broke, don't do this, and he should pay for this, and he should pay for this. But there's no, yeah. If you say to the same women, but you know, are you prepared to like compromise and cook and clean? Why should I? So it's wanting the man to still be a man while the woman remains a man, and it's it doesn't seem fair. And um, even when I see like dating coaches for women, the advice for women is very much like you need to love yourself. He should love, 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 love it. Be narcissistic. Be your own biggest fan. It's like. My personal advice to everybody is be your own biggest critic. I don't allow others to disrespect me. I don't allow anybody else to criticize me. But me personally, I'm incredibly hard on myself because only then can I take accountability and improve. But I don't have this, I'm amazing, I'm amazing, look at yourself, love you. Absolutely not. Sometimes I f up, sometimes I'm great, sometimes I'm awful. So the narcissistic movement in relationships in particular, and especially in motherhood, in motherhood in particular, I, I find like, you know, when they kind of deprive fathers of the access to the children or when they try and fight for uh, custody, only to get more child support or where they refuse to have prenups it's just teaching women to go into relationships with the mentality to get rather than give and i don't think it's healthy a 2013 study in personality and social psychology review suggests that entitlement in relationships can lead to dysfunctional dynamics and selfish behaviors which reflects the importance of self-awareness in one's role within a partnership this aligns with sadia khan's reflection on how modern dating advice can sometimes skew towards self-centeredness especially when it urges women to focus on self-love without accountability. In line with this, Stoic philosophy encourages self-critique over self advocating for a balanced self-view that recognizes flaws as an avenue for growth. This idea resonates with Khan's perspective on self-improvement, where constructive criticism becomes a tool, not an attack, fostering healthier, more giving relationships. Khan's commentary on the My Body, My Choice slogan in the context of parenthood is provocative, as it challenges the idea of sole ownership in the process of bringing a child into the world, she critiques how this perspective might fuel a one-sided sense of entitlement in relationships, leading to what she calls narcissistic tendencies. By challenging the notion that self-love is the ultimate goal, Khan urges a paradigm where mutual responsibility and humility are the foundation for genuine love and partnership. Thanks for watching. If this resonated, please like, subscribe, share with a friend, and let us know in the comments what stood out to you. Can't wait to hear your thoughts bye for now.